This is the Digital Music Trends coverage of South by Southwest 2014, an interview with the music gaming company Zaya. DMT's coverage of South by Southwest is brought to you by Omniphone, the leading B2B cloud music provider powering global music services including Sony Music Unlimited, Guvera, Rara and Sirius XM. Find out more on Omniphone.com and by Music Graph, the world's first knowledge engine for music, available as a consumer app and as a graph API for developers. Check out MusicGraph.com or Developer.MusicGraph.com. Hello everyone and welcome to the Digital Music Trends coverage of South by Southwest 2014 and I'm here with uh, uh, Dean Serletic, uh, the Head of Marketing and Licensing at Zaya. So hi Dean and thanks for joining me, how's it going? Good, thanks for uh, having me, good to see you. So it's great to be here, and I want to start uh, today with a, a quick demo of Zaya. I hope the, the viewers at home can can watch it. Okay, uh, of course, if you're listening to the YouTube, if you're watching the YouTube video of the show, and uh, so I'd like to have a quick uh, walk through uh, how the game works. Great. So I'll take you through Zaya here. So I've got an iPad here. So first of all, what is Zaya? Let's yeah. just give a quick intro. So look, Zaya is the uh, first music game that makes it incredibly easy for everyone to make hit songs and mash up famous material. So what I'll do is I'll walk you through how quickly I can make songs and even incorporate some of the biggest radio hits that we all hear on radio today. Great, awesome. Great, so here you go. I'll start in the Zai. I'm on my uh, road to fame here, as you can see on the TV. So in Zaya, you have every opportunity here to make music with some of your favorite genres. You got EDM artists here, pop, hip-hop, rock, and even famous songs here. So I'm going to go in and show you how you can create some of the biggest songs you hear on radio today. So Royals, Grammy Song of the Year, you can create with Zaya. Great EDM track with Avicii's uh, Levels. Str uh, Stronger, which Kelly Clarkson made a worldwide hit. And here's Counting Stars, a recent number one song here in the U.S. So let's go in and start with Counting Stars. So in Zaya, it's really easy. In a few steps, I get to create my own original music or my own flavor of music. So I'll start here with picking a band member to kick off my track. One of my favorite band members here is uh, Metric, our EDM bassist. Has some really great sounds. But I think I'm going to start with the keyboard today. So here's Sally88. So I'll select Sally and quickly pick one of her hooks to go along with my track here. So that's cool, I think that's gonna be fun to go with Counting Stars, so I get rewarded immediately for uh, selecting my band member here, so my fame points start accumulating, which this helps me level up in Zaya, which gives me more access to more characters, more instruments. So here's the beat from Counting Stars, or I can hunt around and look for other drummers. So here's a great EDM DJ. I've got old school hip hop DJs in here as well. Let's go with Chuck Stereo. So I can either tap in a beat, but if I'm uncomfortable tapping, I can also borrow great already pre-made uh, rhythm patterns. So let's go in here and look at what Chuck Stereo has. Maybe pull up his second turntable. There we go, cool old school flavor. We're gonna really see what happens here with Counting Stars when it goes old school 80s hip hop. And now I can either select or sing vocalist. So I'm gonna kind of mash up maybe the Counting Stars hook. So I'll take that hook, put a vocal effect on that, and then I'll pick one more vocal hook for my chorus here. I got levels. Why don't we try levels here? Put that in. Maybe put a different mic effect on here. Here's one of our coolest microphones, Bob. It looks nothing like a microphone. <laughs> and here we go to work. So this is really kind of the magic and fun as I right here is that those selections are all my creative choices. And now what we're doing is we're sending all this up to a cloud and we're gonna render an amazing song really quickly here. So we're figuring out how does Counting Stars go with an old school 80s hip hop beat? How does that work with putting levels in the chorus? All this is gonna happen in a matter of seconds. So here's Snarls Barkley, our rookie producer, who's about to make music magic.
That's awesome. It's a complex piece of technology here. So there's a lot of stuff going on. Yeah, it really is. I mean, it's it's a bit like figuring out how do you take the world's most professional uh, kind of digital audio workstations and make them accessible for everyone. Yeah. And, you know, we've really made this more about immersive gameplay and for people to have fun and not worry about all the challenges that go into making music. Sure. You know, music is complex. And, you know, I think largely a lot of people have been left out of having the joy of music creation. You know, I think a lot of people are always inspired, want to create music, but sometimes scared because of the results. And I think what we're doing with Zaya here is assuring that everyone has a chance of making a great hit song. And yeah. whether that's combining elements of famous songs or creating something truly original, very quickly you can have a lot of fun on your iOS, you know, your iPad, your iPhones, making music with Zaya. Sure. And so I, I want to backtrack completely yeah. now. So we've just seen the latest product uh, of Zaya, the, the mobile app, which is great. It came out in December. You had a big update uh, this week as well. But I want to hear all about the company. And it's been a fairly long process. And so I want to hear about how you, how you got started. Sure. So look, Music Mastermind was started about four years ago. Uh, my brother Matt and I were living in New York. Um, actually, when my brother was running Virgin Records and I was uh, there as an A&R representative. Uh, and we got to know a good friend of ours, Bo Bazilewski, uh, who, of all things, Matt uh, purchased his house. And that's, of all things, you would never expect a, that a friendship would start in that way. Uh, but everyone became close friends, and Matt and Bo, in particular, stayed in touch about how to, you know, new ideas with music, new ways to get people to engage with music. And Matt and I's background is that, you know, we've been in the music business most of our lives. Uh, we own a record label and a music company. So we're deeply immersed in music. Bo kind of came uh, at it with a fresh perspective, more of looking at it from what a true music lover, what a true music fan would love to see in the music space. So really that collaboration, that dialogue four years ago between Matt and Bo led us to start a company uh, with a group of friends, really to see if we could change how people musically engage with some of the famous you know, songs on radio, as well as just allow themselves to be freely create however they wish. So what was the first iteration of Zaya? So we actually started on uh, PC technology. Um, we had some help early on with uh, HP. They helped us uh, do a preload campaign on some of their um, laptop devices and really kind of get this out and test this. Uh, early on, we had to kind of borrow some of the processing power of the PC and combined it with the cloud technology. Once we saw that worked and we could get it to scale, what we've been working on for the last year and a half prior to launch is getting all of this technology truly in the cloud. So now music making is not only fun and easy, but it's truly mobile. You can do this anywhere. You can do this on a cellular network. You can do this at home on your couch. You don't have to be tethered to any wires. You don't have to be in a recording studio. This is about you freely creating on the back of a bus, in your bedroom, wherever you want to make music. Yeah. Sure. And so looking at uh, the, uh, the, you know, the, you have a lot of great music on the on the app uh, uh, today. So, uh, and of course, you've been around for a while. So you, you were experienced anyway, before you started the company around uh, how uh, the complexities of licensing for games uh, would have would have worked out. But uh, so tell me a little bit about, about uh, how that side of things is working right now and how you have you licensed the tracks. And also you were mentioning in the prep, uh, some interesting stuff going on in the background in terms of what happens to the uh, end creation of the users. Great. So look, Zai is really unique. It's really the first time that the doors have been opened for every music fan now to actually collaborate with the music that their favorite artists are creating. So, you know, in Zai, you can come in here and if you're, you know, a fan of Lord, you're a fan of Lady Gaga, you're a fan of old school uh, rock and roll records, you have a chance to get even closer to your favorite artists. You can now actually co-create with them and collaborate with uh, their music. So what Zai does is really open those doors and we do it in a way that not only are you able to have that experience, but you're able to freely share what you create. And I think, you know, you know, music's all about getting your musical expression out, right? Having something to say, kind of releasing something that's inside of you. And that's only really complete if you get to share that with your friends, family, whoever you'd like. So Zai is not only about music creation and music gameplay, but it's about really socially empowering people to share their musical ideas around the world. That's great. And so, uh, so uh, going back to the licensing side, so you uh, have a technology within the app also that can track what's happening in the background when it comes to uh, reviewing splits, if, if there, something gets made of the end creations or if, if anybody wants to monetize them, right? Yeah. No, look, look, what's great is music and licensing is always a complex um, you know, thing. And anytime there's new technology and there's new experiences out there, some people, you know, take a kind of a wait and see approach. We've been very lucky. We've got great partners, uh, you know, Sony, ATV, Universal, Cobalt, BMG, et cetera, many more that have really come in here, take a very, you know, forward leaning approach, working alongside with their writers who really want 
their fans to have new experiences, to really find ways to engage further with the music. And look, for us, we wanted a platform to where this music had a chance to live on and be bigger than just being within the game. And that's one of the reasons why we've launched the Zaya Star Contest, is that we really see Zaya not only as a vehicle for people to have fun and share music, but also to be discovered and have an opportunity to become truly the, a, a new star in the global music space. Yeah. And, and you're right. I mean, you know, the the, the app has got a, a lot of layers of complexity in terms of what you can do with the arrangement and also record your own vocals and do a bunch of different things. And it's sort of an in-between step between, uh, you know, uh, a purely sort of fun game on the music front where you know you don't have any real creative elements and a garage band where it's actually quite daunting to open up garage band and work out where you start so uh, on that front you know uh, the, the hurdle is always to get users to understand how to use the app uh, what, what is your strategy in terms of you know do you have a tutorial when you start uh, playing and because uh, there's a lot of elements here and uh, i guess users need to be familiar enough for them to stick with the app and, and keep playing it no, it's great. Look, everyone that comes into Zaya, you've got a friend from day one, and there's no better friend than uh, a dog, and that's Snarls Barkley, kind of our producer rookie dog, um, who guides you through the experience. And everyone has a tutorial experience where you learn the ropes of how to make music, and once you've completed the tutorial, you're really in a place where you're able to go and freely create within Zaya. It's incredibly intuitive. Again, it's kind of four easy steps begets a finished record. Yeah, sure. And uh, looking at the release, uh, how you're planning to promote it? Uh, you know, one of the uh, you know the mobile apps need to essentially become a va- vira- viral in it within themselves because we, we all know how expensive it is to actually promote them uh, and, and market them. So, do you have like a, a part marketing, part viral strategy on, on the release? Yeah, absolutely. Look, I think frankly, with any experience like this, it's really about our community deeply engaging and helping propel things forward. And I think that's where the sharing and socialization of your music within Zaya kind of naturally leads to that. And from a marketing standpoint, we really want to embrace the fact that there is a complete aspirational side of music. I think every one of us at one point in our life sat there and daydreamed about being a rock star, right? I think we'd all rather be a rock star, right, in our in our life than probably what we're doing, right? So that's possible for everybody. And I think Zaya puts you even closer to that dream. And so with the Zaya Star Contest that we just launched, Zaya users not only have a chance to make their music, but they now have a chance to compete on a global scale here for a record contract, $10,000 cash, and a chance to go on a tour next year with Digitour uh, 2015. So it's really a way to not only live out your dreams on a day-to-day basis making music in Zaya, but live out a larger dream of having a chance to become a recording star and go on tour. And it's, it's it's funny actually, you know, uh, this is a space that at one point the the, the gaming, the music gaming space was a, a huge percentage of the console sale, con- console sales. It was maybe up to twenty percent at one point. Console sales were music uh, related games like Rock Band and Rockstar and stuff like that. So uh, it's weird that we haven't seen any of the big players come into this area and and try and own the mobile space with a similar version of of those apps. Why do you think that is? You know, look, I think it's interesting. I think things always have to innovate, and you know, I think the last experience, like you said was on console and there was really innovative technology around guitar hero rock band but people always want you know to move on and and look at new opportunities and we really believed that where you know a music loving audience has been left out of is they haven't been able to create they've been able to mimic performances they've been able to dance along to music and those are great experiences but to actually freely be able to create and do something that's original and true to you that's that required a whole, you know, uh, new bit of technology here that we've really spent years here crafting that experience. And you know, behind all of this is the fact that, you know, we're we have Grammy-winning uh, producers that are building out this technology. You know, we're really tapping into the minds people that have won Grammys, put you know hits on radio every year. What goes on in their head? What goes on in a recording studio that could be replicated through a game experience? Yeah. And so the launch is quite close. You launch in December. And so what's the roadmap for the, for the app? And what do you have in mind for the, for the next few months? So look, if you look at where we were in December and where we are today, I think any Zaya user can appreciate that we continue to add amazing new features and amazing new content and experience. And we have an aggressive uh, feature rollout ahead of us. I think on the horizon for us, the big thing that we're excited about is that we're going to be bringing in more of a competitive element to Zaya. Yeah. So um, stay tuned uh, here in the near future. Not only are you going to be able to make and share songs, but you'll be able to compete and uh, kind of rise up the Zaya charts. That's great. And so if anybody wants to find out more about the company, uh, what's the best website or, or social feeds to, to look out? 
Yeah. So look, Zaya was created by Music Mastermind. Uh, you can read more about Music Mastermind at musicmastermind.com. Check us out on Facebook, Twitter. Uh, we're always keeping everyone up to date on the latest announcements. And that's also true of, uh, from labels, of course, that are watching the show. If there's anybody that watches this that is interested in uh, uh, licensing opportunities within the game, then they should probably get in touch with, it, with the company, right? Yeah, absolutely. And I'm your perfect person to uh, contact and reach out to. I look after all our licensing efforts. And look, there's a great opportunity here for artists to uh, engage their fans in a new way. And it's uh, purely additive revenue. This is a whole new experience for the music business. Well, thank you so much for your time. And again, it's uh, Zaya. Uh, go and check it out. And go, check out uh, go and check out the Music Mastermind website as well if you are interested in the company. Yeah.